Hi, my name is Felipe, and I want to tell you about some recent research from my colleagues and I. So, how different are we from chimpanzees? Essentially, we are cousins. Our DNA is around 99% similar, but even then, our brains are about three times bigger, and we have about twice as many brain cells as chimps do. So a small genome difference can produce large brain differences. But how does this happen, and what does it mean at the cellular level? To find out more, we compared brain stem cells from humans and chimps, using mini-brains, called cerebral organoids, grown in a lab dish. Brain stem cells are like the seeds from which the brain grows. Some of them build the brain cortex, which is important for things like thinking. It turns out that our brain stem cells are hard to distinguish from those of chimps. Not only is our DNA very similar, but our brain stem cells also express the messages in this DNA very similarly, although not identically. Also, in the developing cortex, there are different types of brain stem cells, and we saw similar proportions of them in both species, although the proportion of those that multiply more was a bit higher in humans. This makes sense for growing a bigger brain. Then, the most visible difference was that when human brain stem cells wanted to divide, they spent around 50% more time preparing to separate their chromosomes, the carriers of DNA. In fact, cells that tend to multiply more spend the longest time in this phase, called metaphase. But why would they need extra time? We don't know for sure. But brain stem cells that need to multiply more may use this time to make sure they are extra ready. We want to learn more about these subtle differences because they could help us understand how we became humans and how our brains are different to those of other species.